Buzz. I'm Patty. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to talk about voting. Yes. Oh, yes. We feel that voting is very important. Yeah. It's, it's a responsibility. And I think to live in this country, um, I just think that everyone who's capable of, you know, making an intelligent decision should go out and vote. You know, I, I look at it like... It's often difficult. You don't know. Right now, I'm very torn. I have no idea who I'm going to vote for. And everybody knows this is a big, hot election. With, uh, with everything that's been happening, it's been very different, which I find refreshing. But, um, so it's it's not always easy. And believe me, I'm, you know, I don't always have all the answers by no means. But I think it is our responsibility. And I often feel like maybe, especially with this upcoming election, I'm so torn. And I'm I'm disillusioned, I'll be honest. I almost felt like I don't think I'm going to vote this time. But then I think about my dad, who was a World War II vet, and, you know, and the way I was raised and how important that is, that I thought, I have to vote. You know, I really do. So that's the whole point of this episode, to encourage that. Well, it's actually our right responsibility and our privilege to vote. Yeah. Because, well, put, even if you don't think that your vote counts, they really do. Because if everybody stayed home, the yeah. people that are president or vice president or um, Congress, Senate, mm -hmm. would not be where they are. They yeah. need their supporters out there voting for them. That's right. Now, this this election that's going on right now, they've had quite a few debates. And I haven't had a chance to watch as many of those debates as some people have. I, I think I just, I watched one full one and part of another one. And you know, after the after the debates are done, they have fact checkers. So if you're not sure if you believe what the candidates are saying, um, you can go and check with these fact checkers. Because I had put something on Facebook um, about making sure you research candidates, and someone had said that's what they like to use is the fact checkers and uh, see. Right. Because these these um, candidates will speak all over the country, and uh, there'll be fact check checkers after a lot of these speeches to say, well, yeah, if they say they saved millions of dollars for their state, well, did they really? You know, it'll, it'll let you know right. if they did. Right. Now, something else I like to do is I like to look to see what they did before they decided they wanted to run for president or whatever and see what were they. Um, one of the candidates used to be an Eagle Scout, you know, yeah. Boy Scout, Eagle Scout. And I thought, you know, a lot of Eagle Scouts, it's, it takes a lot of character, a lot of work, a lot of work ethic. You know, so it's good to see that. You And sometimes you can see if they had common sense by some of the articles you might find about them. Right. If you type their name into the Internet, um, probably go to the library and research their name, too. Right. But the Internet is so nice for that. Right. Now, one site that I like is Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. And it, um, you know, at first, when I first started looking at things on Wikipedia, I always wondered if they were accurate. But I've looked at Wikipedia enough now that I'm beginning to believe that, that they're pretty accurate and pretty non-biased. Mm -hmm. I don't see them um, leaning one way or the other. It's It seems like they're giving both sides of everything. So I've looked up most of the presidential candidates now, and I can tell you, you know, of course I don't remember it. I'd have to look it back up again. But, you know, some of them have done a lot of spectacular things. Mm -hmm. And it's good to know that because if you want someone that's running for president to have some experience, you want to have some common sense, and you want to have somebody that maybe can help balance the budget. You know, so some of those things are very important. I don't know what do you what do you do to check on your candidates? Well, I'm usually I I love Google, and um, you know, you can research so much on the internet now. And for me, I'm I'm no expert, but I've learned that the key is to have a lot of sources. Mm -hmm. You know, don't read the first yeah. three things that pop up and say, oh, okay, well, this must be the and deal. believe it. Don't always believe it. Exactly. Evaluate it with your own head and yeah. your own yeah yeah just just like you would with anything. Well, who is it? Who told me this? Is is that a reliable source? Is that is that a um, someone of integrity who's saying this? Is this just you know trying to blast somebody, or are they really trying to you know give you some some information, some objective data? That objective is important. It is really yeah. important because yeah. you don't you can't believe the media a lot of times because they're slanted one way or the other. You know, it depends on which side you talk to. They'll say, "Oh, they're for them," and the other one say, "Oh, no, they're they're for them." Well, mm -hmm. you want the objective ideas. You exactly. want the objective people, the ones that are going to give you, they might give you both sides of the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, there, there's so much out there now that you could, you know, you could probably research it and, and, and get a dozen different sources and still kind of come out saying, well, 
you know, I learned this and that, which was good. But then on the other hand, I didn't like the idea about this or that. But that's what it's all about. You know, we're all human. No, no not any of us. No one candidate is going to be a perfect person or, right. you know, anything like that. But common sense, you have to use common sense. Mm-hmm. And But I'll tell you, I'm really torn this election. This, this has really thrown me for a loop. I don't. I've got it narrowed down to two candidates. And I wish I could put those two people into one <laughs> person. Oh, yeah. But now I, I just the something else about voting though is so many people are intimidated by voting. They never go mm-hmm. because they they don't know the process. And I think what you really need to do, you can call your whatever party you think you're closely affiliated with. You can call their their county mm-hmm. committee and ask them what you need to do. Right. You know, you can look on the papers and see what they've got. You know, and each party has a platform. You can mm-hmm. look at each party's platform and see what's most closely aligned to what you believe in. Yeah. You know, and, and don't let intimidation or fear of the unknown keep you from voting. I mean, it really is your, your right and your responsibility and your privilege to go vote. So right. don't be, I know, and I sh- it's easy to say don't be afraid because I was afraid too until mm-hmm. I had a friend that did it. Sure, you sure. Know? It's, you know, it can be intimidating if you've never done it before, but it's very easy. After you've done it, you'll say that, well, mm-hmm. this is much easier than I thought. Mm-hmm. And it's, but I always think, you know, it's one of those things you don't know what you got till it's gone. Mm-hmm. So appreciate it right now because I, that's my big thing is that, um, some people might say, well, you know, my vote doesn't matter. I, I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to bother. But I'll tell you, I have a, I have a strong feeling that if something happened that that right was taken away from us, a lot of those same people oh, yeah. would be saying, you know, well, wait a minute. You know, I no longer have this right. I don't. You know, yeah. Yeah. And also, I think it's important, too, you brought up a good point earlier when we were talking off camera about the um, the congressional elections and, you know, your, oh, your yeah. congressmen and your senators, those are the people actually entering laws into into practice that well, affect our lives. Well, what they do lives. is they, they, they write up a bill and then they, they um, debate these bills and, you know, they have to go through uh, the House and the Senate mm-hmm. and then the president actually can sign it or veto it. You know, so the president just, the, the president has a role. His role is to support some of this stuff or not support it. If he's not, if they don't think he's going to vote for it a certain way, they may rewrite it. But I'll tell you what, your congressmen and your senators are so important. And especially, you know, the thing is they, they put these bills before, before the House of Representatives and Senate and there's so much pork barrel spending in there that, you know, you really need to pay attention to who you're voting in for these these offices because they're the ones. If they don't have common sense, they're going to spend so much money that of, and it's our money. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not mm-hmm. it's not their mm-hmm. money to spend. It's our money. So you want to pay attention to who you're putting in right. the office. Right. But what I but but I think the point I'm trying to make is that, and I hadn't really thought about it that much. I always thought, well, the presidential election is the big one. Mm-hmm. So if I miss. Voting for yeah. my senator and yeah. congressman or whatever, no big deal. But you're right; that's that has probably more in some ways. Oh yeah, of an effect yeah. on on our lives. You know, the people we put yeah. into those offices. So I'm going to take that to heart and really consider. And you can look them up on Wikipedia in, too. In you know, you can look up every one of those guys in Wikipedia and mm-hmm. and see what they have to say about them, mm-hmm. and then look for articles from the past of things they've done. Right. You know, I think that's that's so important. And then another thing I wanted to point out is that depending on which party you think you're from or you're supporting, you can pull a straight ticket, which means you just just say I'm voting Democrat or Republican. And you know, my point, I know my point is I don't believe in pulling a straight ticket. I don't either. So I, I knew you were going to say that. I thought you were going to try no, to no, encourage no, that. No, but I want to let them know. No, but no, I personally no. don't. But they can pull a straight ticket. And what I believe is, and especially the one where I have the trouble is the, is the judges. Because I can research, um, you know, Senate, Congress, and President because they tell you so, so far ahead that they're running for those offices. But when you walk into the voting booth and there's all these people that you never heard of before, you don't have to vote on that, that part mm-hmm. of it. I will not vote on something I don't have a little bit of awareness of because I don't want to sway and put a judge out of, exactly. of his position mm-hmm. that might be a great judge. Right. I right. figure in that case, I'm hoping that there are people that know more than I do right. who will vote. Right. Because I'm not going to vote for or against somebody just because I heard their name, just because right. they're cute, just because right. I, you know, never heard of the other guy. You know, I will refrain from that. So 
just pick out what you yeah, want to vote for. I think for you need to vote for yeah. who you think is the best person for the job. It right. doesn't matter if that person is black or white or Hispanic or whatever. It doesn't matter if that person is Democrat, Independent, Republican. My right. philosophy is vote for the person who you truly believe yeah. would be the best person for that job. I agree with that. I so, think, and the key is vote and right. vote. Yeah, whatever you do. Yeah, and I guess we're out of time again. So. Of course, of course. <laughs> so, want to remind you that life should be. An incredible buzz.